Hello, everybody. We are going to measure this angle right here in our picture, the angle right by Mr. Schnock's eyes, um, using a cool new website that you will use in your project. So let's go to it and see how it works. So I have it open right here. It looks like this. You'll get this link in, in one second. And the first thing we'll do is upload a new background right here. Now, um, you're going to choose file. And you'll need a picture. You'll need your context uh, somewhere on your computer where you can find it. Now, I think this is the one that I want to use right here. So I'll click enter and then I'll click upload image right here. Now, uh, as it's uploading, you'll see the picture right here. Now, if your first reaction is that the protractor is massive, I'm with you. I want to make this protractor a little bit smaller. Now, you can do this the slow way and do this, or you can say, all right, we're at 374, let me try about 250 right here. Press enter, bam. Okay, now I wanted to measure the angle by his eyes. So I'm gonna put the target of the projector right on his eyeball right there. Okay, now I wanna find a way to measure this. Now this website has a pretty cool feature of letting you click on two different places on the picture to measure the angle in between them. So I'm first going to click on the light and you'll see that a, a little um, thing comes up here that you can put right on the light. And then I'm going to click on the horizontal right here. I'm going to make sure that's right on zero. Okay, then it's like, all right, let's make sure that it's right where I want it to be, which is right in the middle of the light right here. And I'm looking like I'm having a 58 or 59 degree angle. So um, for this picture, we're all done. You'll do this on your own picture when you need to. But let's go back to the class kick and let's enter in. Wait, what was it again? Was it 58? It was 58. 58 right there. Thank you very much.